In this video, we're going to complete example four. We're going to be given a graph and we need to find the equation for this graph. Now, there are four questions we're going to complete. On this slide, we have question A. We've got questions B, C and D on other slides. Now, we learned in an earlier video that quadratic functions can be written in the form a x minus h squared plus k. Now, when we look at the graph, you can see that our vertex is the point 1, 2. You might remember that our vertex is written in the form h, k. We can see that h equals 1 and k equals 2. And we can substitute that into our equation here. So h will equal 1 and k will equal 2. There's only one number we need to find here. We need to figure out what a is. So for now, we'll leave it as a. And all we need to do is figure out what a equals. And then we've got the function for our graph. So how do we find a? Well, they actually gave us two clues here. One of the clues, the vertex, allowed us to find the values of h and k. The other clue, or the other point that they gave us, will help us find a. You'll notice that when x is 0, our function will equal 4. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace our x values with 0, like so. And we know that if x is 0, our function will equal 4. Let's do some rearranging here. I'm going to start with brackets. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. So 4 equals a negative 1 squared plus 2. If I square negative 1, negative 1 times negative 1 is just 1. So 4 equals a times 1 plus 2. a times 1 is the same as just a. So 4 equals a plus 2, and then I subtract the 2 on both sides. And I find out that 2 equals a, or a equals 2. Now that I know what a equals, I can finish off my function here. So we're going to write that our function f of x will equal 2 in place of a, x minus 1 squared plus 2. And that's question A complete. Let's now move on to question B. Remembering that our function will be in the form a x minus h squared plus k. We can see that our vertex is the point negative 2 comma 3. Remembering that our vertex is in the form h comma k. So we can see that h is negative 2 and k is positive 3. So let's write that down. f of x equals a x minus h. Now, if h is negative 2, we're going to have minus negative 2. That's actually the same as just saying plus 2. And then we have plus 3 at the end because k is 3. We still need to figure out what a is, and what we're going to do is we're going to look at the second point we were given. When x is 0, our function will equal negative 1. So we're going to replace x with 0 here. And we know that when x is 0, our function will equal negative 1. The first thing I'm going to do is look at my brackets. 0 plus 2 is 2. So this now becomes negative 1 equals a times 2 squared plus 3. 2 squared is 4. So I'm going to get a times 4. Now, when I do that, I'm just going to write that as 4a. 4a is the same as a times 4. So we have our plus 3 and our minus 1 here. I'm going to subtract the 3 on both sides in order to cancel the plus 3. 
minus 1 minus 3 gives us minus 4. And now I'm going to divide both sides by 4, like so. And I find that a must equal negative 1. Now I can substitute this value back into my function here. So f of x will equal... So in place of our a, we should have negative 1. Now rather than writing negative 1, I'm just going to put the negative symbol down. And then I'm going to copy the rest down. I have x plus 2 squared. So x plus 2 squared. And I also have plus 3. So plus 3. Why did I just put the negative symbol and not negative 1? Well, when you see the negative symbol next to a set of brackets, it technically means that that's negative 1, but we don't write the 1 down. Okay, let's now move on to question C. I know that my function will be in the form a x minus h squared plus k. So my vertex is in the form h comma k. I can see that h equals 2 and k equals negative 75. So I'm going to substitute that to my function here. So h is 2, x minus 2 squared, and k is minus 75. Now all I need to do is find a. They've given me two other points, which basically means I can pick either one. I think I'm going to pick the point 7, 0. Meaning that when x is 7, my function will equal 0. So let's make x equal 7. So it becomes 7 minus 2 squared. And when I do that, my function will equal 0. So what shall I do first? Let's look at the brackets. 7 minus 2 is 5, so this becomes a times 5 squared, and 5 squared is 25, so let's rewrite this as 25a. 0 equals 25a minus 75. So I'll add 75 to both sides like so, and then I get 75 equals 25a. Next, I'm going to divide both terms by 25, and that will give me a equaling 3. Now all I need to do is take my a value and substitute it into my function here. So f of x must equal 3 in place of a, x minus 2 squared minus 75. All right, let's now move on to question d. Remembering that my function will be in the form a, x minus h squared plus k. Here's my vertex. It's in the form h comma k. We can see that h is negative 5, and that k is going to be 20. So if I put negative 5 in place of h, I'm going to have x minus negative 5. That's the same as x plus 5. So we'll write this down as a x plus 5 squared in the brackets, and k is 20. Now we need to find a. We're going to look at our second point. It looks quite complicated, but we are told that when x equals negative 2 root 10 minus 5, our function will equal 0. So I'm going to write this down. x is negative 2 root 10 minus 5. Notice that it's x plus 5, so I'm going to write plus 5 next to that, squared and then plus 20. Looking in my brackets here, you can see I've got minus 5 plus 5. So these will actually cancel each other out, which does help me. I get a bracket 
minus 2 root 10 squared plus 20. Looking inside my brackets again, if I square negative 2, that's actually going to become positive 4, because negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. And if I square the square root of 10, it's going to undo the square root. It's going to become just 10. So this is now 4 times 10, plus 20 at the end. So we can see, and, and I just realized I forgot to write that these all equal 0. When we look at the point, we can see that our function will equal 0. This is a times 4 times 10. 4 times 10 is 40. So I'm going to rewrite this as 40a plus 20. Next, I'm going to subtract the 20 on both sides. We can see that 40a is going to equal negative 20. Now we divide by 40. 20 over 40 is the same as 1 half. We've got a negative there, so a is just negative 1 half. So we simply substitute this a value into our function. So our function will be an a value of negative 1 half, then x plus 5 squared plus 20. Anyway, that concludes our video on example 4. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.